Hey guys, welcome back to Unbox Expedition. In today's video, my new haircut. In today's video, my first ever Tokyo treat box. Let's jump into it. All right, let's get into this Tokyo treat box. As I mentioned, this is my first box. I did order this at the beginning of May, but this is actually June's box. It's a collaboration between Tokyo Treat and Funimation. You actually get a coupon inside this box to give you one free month of Funimation subscription. I'm more interested in the snacks that are inside, so let's take a look at those shortly. But first, I'm gonna introduce my special guest for today, my daughter, Elena. Come on in. Hi guys. So what are we doing today, Elena? Snack boxes. Snack boxes, yeah, and which country is this box from? Japan. Awesome, and did you really like the snacks that we had in the box suit box already? Yep. Yeah, we kind of ate that box together, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we were supposed to film that, but we decided to eat all the snacks. So why don't we get into this box and try these snacks out this time, okay? Okay. Great, let's get this box opened and see what's inside. All right, guys, now comes the fun part, getting to try all the snacks. Come on, Elena. All right, so why don't you pick what you want to try first? I want to try these because there's a bunch of mystery things you can get, and I like mysteries. Oh, the flavors, you mean? Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's open this. This will tell us exactly what we're eating. So you've chosen the gummy. So this is 
That time I got reincarnated as a slime Kogumi gummies. So that is obviously an anime, I believe. But uh, let's try this out. There's a couple different flavors we have in here. We have soda, blood orange, muscat, and energy energy drink flavor. Okay, <laughs> so let's get these open up. Pretty funny, right? Yeah, muscat. I'm not even sure what that's called. Yeah, me neither. I don't know any of hmm. okay. Let's get these opened up. Sometimes it's hard to open them. Yeah, look at these. These are kind of small, eh? Look at that. Yeah, we have cool. a bunch of them. Why don't we show everybody here as well? All of those little gummies that we got in here. It's kind of cool, eh? You also just dropped the paper on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here, open your hand. I'll give you a couple. Oh, you got all the same colors. Let's try really? that. Let's switch that around here. You give me some of those back. I'll give you these. Green is your favorite color. Yeah. All right, let's taste these. The green one is a little sour. Mm -hmm. And very like salty. Salty? A really? A little bit, yeah. Not sweet? No, it's a little salty. Hmm. These are pretty good. Mm -hmm. These uh, These are good flavors, but they remind me of a lot of the a lot of the gummies that you would find locally here, right? Yeah. You probably tasted some of these flavors already. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Well, let's move on to something next. What's going on? So, my second thing that I really want to try is this. Yeah, this is my favorite. I'm looking forward to this. So let's try the maple Kit Kats. I've been waiting for this for like a day or so. Cool, they're minis, see? Ooh. That's kind of neat. So bump these out. These are all little mini Kit Kats. So these are little mini Kit Kats that all you do is rip them apart and then you eat them. <laughs> all right, let's try this. So again, maple flavored, so. No okay. openers? Oh, you got it. Good job. That smells mm. so good. Yeah, you can smell the maple. As you open it, you can actually smell it. Mm. It's like, I can't open it. Mmm. Mmm. It's pretty good. Oh my god. You can tell that it's white chocolate. Yeah. And the white chocolate is flavored with that maple flavor, so. Mmm. It's like mixed up. Mmm. -hmm. That's pretty good. Maple. I taste a little bit more white chocolate than the maple. Yeah. But. I'm a fan of Kit Kat either way, so that one's pretty good. All right. You can go first. You want me to pick something? Yeah, okay. What I'm actually interested in trying is this drink. So this is the Fanta drink. So this is a Fanta yogurt rush. Uh, so I'm interested in tasting this. Apparently in Japan, yogurt drinks are really popular because they're refreshing and they're good for you. So let's try this out. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's carbonated. Wasn't expecting that. I guess I should have <laughs> should have known Fanta was gonna be carbonated, but let's try this out. Oh that's pretty good. Fanta? Yep, yeah, one sec. Hmm. Now I mm, not bad. No? Kind of sour. Kind of sour, yeah. <laughs> it don't look like you like that one. It's really sour. It's not bad. It, you don't really taste yogurt. No, but you just taste it a little bit. Yeah, again, this has that muscat, muscat yogurt flavor. So I kind of like it, but it's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. I never knew I was not like it. <laughs> All right. I mean, I never knew I would like it. I like it. Yeah. Okay, so let's pick something else. Mm, I'm really interested on what these are. So these are little, uh, sort of, they, they're called Chibimaru chocolates. They look like M&M's. Yeah, they kind so, of do. One's cracked a little bit. Yeah, they kind of broke a little bit. But yeah, these, uh, these look like M&M's. Pretty much what they are. Little M&M's. Yeah, Let's get there's only two up. in there. It's really strange how they only 
purple. Yeah, they don't give you much. It's kind of little. No. You want the pink one? Yeah, I like it. Okay. I'll give you the pink one and I'll have the chocolate one. There you go. Okay. And the brown one. And chocolate and both. What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know. And brown is what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty okay. much. Pretty much like an M&M. Yeah. Very similar flavors. So, yeah. It's kind of, it's, the taste is a little different, but... Mm -hmm. Let's try this. So this is called Melon Han. Mm. So that probably might be a little sour. Crunchy bite-sized Melon Han. So this should be interesting. A little sour. It's like a little cookie. Mmm, mm, that smells really good. Smell that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's so good. See, a little cookie here. Let's try this out. I'm not sure what's inside of it. Oh, it's just nothing, nothing. Nope, nothing inside of it. I thought it was filled with something. I thought it was filled with something. Yeah. Just like a mini, little mini cookie. Like, it's kind of like a little, a little mini cake. A little mini cake, yeah. Yeah. There's like another cake. little cookie here, this one. This is a tea cookie. I'm not sure what we got here. Tea cookie. No specific tea flavor. Oh! Darjeeling flavored tea. Let's try that. I'm not sure if you're gonna like this because I'm not here. Like teas. It smells it smells flowery. You can definitely smell the tea. Smell that? Yeah, you can smell the tea. Yep. Another good little cookie here. Definitely taste that tea. This might go good with an actual tea. So you might want to have tea whenever you have some of these cookies. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. This, this is the Uncle Pierre Buttercream Roll Cake. It feels squishy. Mm -hmm. Really squishy. Yeah, probably squishy. Cream roll cake. That sounds pretty tasty. Buttercream filled roll cake. That's actually very good. Oh, it this looks actually good. looks nothing like the picture. <laughs> Let me <laughs> show you this. So here's the picture. So you got like a nice roll on here. Now look what they actually give you. <laughs> a little squished version of what's actually on the packaging. It smells pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Tastes like mm. kind of like pudding a little bit. Yeah, good. Here, take a bite. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty good, eh? Chewy. Chewy? Yeah. It's pretty soft. Definitely melt in your mouth, sort of soft, squishy. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. I can taste a little bit of maple, a tiny bit. In that, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And like, I can taste a little bit of butter too. Butter, yeah. But it's buttercream, so that kind of makes sense that you taste that butter. Mm -hmm. So this is an interesting one. This is uh, the smallest cheese I've ever seen in my life. This is Camembert cheese snack. Again, you can see this. It's super tiny, right? And I was also very interested on that. You want to taste this? Yeah. And I, I already knew, I thought it was cheese, but it actually is. Yeah, it is cheese. Very small. Ooh, that's pungent. Is it good? Not bad. Very salty. Very, very salty. You want to try some of that? Really, really salty. Yeah. And like, after I just took the bite, it felt like this tiny little skin right Yeah, you can definitely tell it's, uh, you know, it's been wrapped for a little bit, but yeah, it's okay. Kem and bear cheese. I can't say I've ever actually had Kem and bear cheese before, so that's also my first time trying Kem and bear cheese. <laughs> yeah. All right, moving on. Let's try this guy. So this is something I've been really looking forward to. This is called Mochi Mochi Chocolate Sakura Mochi. Uh, so what it is, it's uh, matcha chocolate, matcha ganache filled in the mochi. The mochi on the outside is Sakura Mochi. There you go. So let's get this box open and we'll try a couple of these. And at first, um, I at first I thought I wouldn't like it, but I'm actually gonna try it right now to see if I like it. Yeah, you're gonna try this, yeah. yeah. 
Not too sure if you're a fan of matcha, if you've never had matcha before. No. So this will be an interesting test to see if uh, Elena likes matcha. All right, so they got a cute little pack here. It comes exactly. packaged. You got four in a pack, and there's actually two of these inside the box. So let's open up one of these and give this a taste. Oh, that didn't work too well. Not really. <laughs> guess it doesn't want to open. I guess not. Eh? <laughs> Oh, this is actually really hurt to open. I can go get scissors if you want. Mm, ah, there we go. Got okay, it. There. Oh, it's stuck to the packages. I don't want to. <laughs> All right. So they give you a little, uh, sort of like a little toothpick in here, so that way you can scoop it up and eat it. So let me grab this first one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a taste. Mm. You can definitely taste the matcha inside this mochi. I don't think you're gonna like it. It's pretty bitter. <laughs> Very chewy. Mochi in itself is a uh, rice paste on the outside, so this is very, very chewy. You can actually choke on this really easily, so if you're eating mochi, take your time. Mm. I like that, it's not bad. Here, you give it a taste, see if you like this. <laughs> I still remember when you said, be careful. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful. And you just dropped something on I know, I dropped one. <laughs> <laughs> Try that out. Not sure if you're going to like that. Ooh. You like the inside too? Yeah? Matcha is a very bitter taste if it's not sweetened at all. So that's good. Okay, cool. I'll put this to the side for now. Great. All right, so. Okay move on to this. This right here. This is baby pecky mochi seaweed salt flavor. So let's open this. It's probably crackers, I'm guessing. It's the easiest way to get this open. I'm curious about that. Oh, interesting. They look like little corn. Yeah. Okay. Let me just rip that off. Well, I'm gonna have a few let's more things. here today. again. in there. Alright, there you go, take one. Mm. Try one of these. Mm. Mm. They taste like the ones that were in the sandbox. Mm, yeah, they taste sort of like the tempura seaweed crackers you got in the boxu box that we unpacked. Yeah. Those are pretty good. Turn them they taste like it's oh, yummy. Yeah. They're they're a little like they're a little like like Salty, mm -hmm. kind of. and it's really messy, kind of. <laughs> Salty and seaweed flavor. You can definitely taste that. But yeah. these are pretty good. Definitely, uh, yeah. Definitely like on my part. I can eat a whole bag of those. In the end, we'll say our favorites. <laughs> that's gonna be the last thing we're gonna be doing here. Yeah. Because that's a make -up. It's like you have to make your own thing. Oh, these look like they're puffs as well. So yeah. this is Texas corn uh, okonomiyaki. So we'll try these out. It actually looks pretty good at the back. Like Their uh, slogan is forget popcorn. This is your new night, your new light snack. So let's try these out. Oh, these are cute. I'm probably not gonna. Ooh, those definitely smell very, very salty. It smells like vinegar. <laughs> not sure how I'm gonna like these. Hmm, here, you try that. They don't taste salty at all. No, not at all, actually. Mm. Those are pretty good. Yeah. I just took two because I love them. Yeah, this actually, weirdly enough, reminds me of corn puffs, but much softer. And, like, and the flavor is uh, obviously not sweet. And it gets tough, stuck to your teeth. Yeah, it definitely gets stuck in your teeth, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to brush my teeth after all the snacks. Mm. Those are pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. On. Let's see what else we have in here. Can I try this? Can we try yep. this? Yeah, we can try that. Because it looks really funny. So that's a, one of the candies. So that is, where are we? <clears throat> so that's the sour cola gummy. So I can guess what that's going to taste like. It's going to taste like Coca-Cola. Yeah. And we're not sure if it's going to taste sour. <laughs> well, it says it's sour, so yeah. I would wait for it to be. Oh, it's pretty soft. That's a good thing. It's not hard like sometimes you get out of those candy bins. Yeah. Let's try that here, take a bite. 
Oh, it sure is sour. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell just by licking it off my fingers. That's a pretty sour candy. Yep. <laughs> All right. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So some of these are hard candies. I'm not going to try these guys just because I would be sitting here eating these all day. Um, these look like mini uh, tennis balls. These are gum, actually. Um, and I guess it does look like tennis balls because it's from Prince of Tennis, another anime. But uh, these are little tennis-shaped uh, gumballs. And I told you we would get gum. Yeah, that's right. You did. And this one here is also another hard candy. It's called Lucky Cat Candy. So another little hard candy here. Yeah, it's gonna be no specific flavor taste, but that's all right. Now this is gonna be interesting. So this has a picture of a squid on it. So I'm not entirely sure what this is gonna taste like. I'm guessing it's gonna taste like squid. So this is General Ikasen. So crunchy squid, Japanese squid cracker. Uh, so that's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty small, actually. It's pretty broken up. Oh. It's cracked. Yeah, it is cracked. Ooh, definitely smell the, uh, the fishiness, the squidness from this cracker. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm not No one. That is, wow. That is crunchy and very, very squid tasting. Wow, yeah. I think I'll put that one away. I do love sushi and uh, things like that, but that's a little strong of a flavor. Yeah, I know it would be strong. <laughs> so I'm like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Those are spicy, I can't have them. Well, we'll find out. Let me try one. So these are the dragon potato tasty chili flavor. Um, so let's open these up. These look kind of neat. I think they're spicy, but they kind of look spicy because they outline them. Oh, they look really neat. They're definitely, uh, Twirly. That's kind of cool. Eh? That's that. funny. Yeah. All right. Let me taste this, and I'll tell you. Mm. It's crunchy. Definitely got a bit of a bite to it. So it tastes like barbecue a little bit. So I got barbecue, but definitely more of a bite. Yeah. I don't think you're gonna want to try that. <laughs> I have water in my bedroom. All right, well, these are pretty good. Again, barbecue, but much uh, spicier. So spicy barbecue if you're into that sort of flavor. And is that one of our last things? Yep. So this right here is a uh, bonus that I received when I signed up. It was my first month and they had a promo code. So this is actually a make your own candy. So uh, Tokyo Street is uh, known for their make your own candy kits. You generally get one of these in each of their monthly boxes. This one specifically is a make your own mochi kit. Um, so try? we'll go ahead and uh, create this uh, a little bit later. Well, we hope you liked our video today. If you did, don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. That's right. And you can see some new unboxings every Saturday. So we hope to see you in the next one. Snack, Snack on. on.